Hey, Dad, we need to talk. Okay, I'll call. No, text is fine. It's about the wedding. Is there a problem with the venue? Javi and I spent a pretty penny on it, so if anything's wrong... No, it's perfect. Of course it is. Perks of having gay dads, right? We have exquisite taste. Yeah. Is it about Janie? Is she being a bridezilla again? Do you need more money? No. Then what is it? Janie and I decided that we don't want to make any political statements at our wedding. What's that mean? Well, you saw the invitations, right? Yes! Very classy. Javi and I are going tuck shopping this afternoon. We're so excited. There wasn't a plus one on the RSVP, but you wrote down both your names. I don't understand. Well, you're my biological dad, so of course you have to come. But Janie and I decided that Javi isn't invited. Sorry. But he's your dad too. He raised you since you were three. And we're paying for everything. Yes, and thank you. But we want an apolitical event. You understand. Apolitical? My husband's a chef, not a senator. This is our wedding, and we both thought it was best if he doesn't come. It's not personal. How is this not personal? You can't just invite one parent. He's not biologically my dad. Ben, how could you? And do you expect me to break the news to him? Sorry. This isn't coming from you, is it? This is all Janie and her bitch mom. Janie and I both decided this. Sure you did. I'm going to message her right now. Don't. Bye, son. Wait. Janie? Hi. How's our blushing bride doing? Not blushing yet. <laughs> Wait until Saturday. I hope you're excited. Of course. <laughs> so, I just talked with Ben. Oh? He said he doesn't want his dad to come. What? Of course you're invited. His other dad. Hello? I assume he explained the situation. He did. He said it was a mutual decision between both of you, but I know we didn't raise our son to be homophobic. Seriously? You're playing that card? It's not a card, Janie. It's the truth. You don't want two husbands at your perfect little wedding. A wedding we're paying for. Are you threatening to take back the deposits? Good luck with that. The money's been spent. Oh, I know. And it's not about the money. Why did you force Ben to do this to us? Don't you care what he wants? Don't you love him? More than anything. Then why are you hurting his family? Your future family? We made the decision together. And I'm supposed to believe that? Look, I know you and your partner love each other or whatever. Husband. You and your husband. And what you do behind closed doors is your own business. But my family is coming too, and we don't want your lifestyle thrown in our faces. I can't believe you'd say that. Besides, what family? You just have a bunch of cousins who hate you and a single mother that we've never met. My mom's very traditional. Is it tradition to screw over your future in-laws? You don't understand. You're right, I don't. It's not like Javi and I are going to start an orgy during the cake cutting. I can't talk to you when you're like this. My son deserves so much better than you. Does he? With all due respect, Dean, I'm a 10. Your son is a six on a good day. I'm going to tell him you said that. Go ahead, I tell him that all the time. He knows I'm out of his league and he's happy to snatch me up. So if some members of his family can't come, he's totally fine with that. So this was your idea. We're done here. Neither of you are invited. I have a feeling this wedding will not be what you expect. What's that supposed to mean? Hello? Hello? Hey, babe. Ben's not answering my texts. Is there something wrong with the wedding? Yes, but I have a plan to fix everything, and I need your help. Okay... I'll explain everything when you come home. This sounds like a secret mission. In a way. <laughs> Get ready. Hey, cutie. Who is this? My name's Javier. You're Martha, right? Do I know you? Not really, but I'd like to get to know you better. I hope I'm not being too forward. I'm not interested. Wait, let me introduce myself. I work with your daughter, Janie. 
Actually, I'm her boss. Oh? Yeah, I own the whole company. I see. So, you must be pretty... well off. If having two houses and a private yacht is well off, let's not beat around the bush. I'm a businessman and I've done quite well for myself, but after a lifetime of running three businesses, I haven't had the time to settle down. I'm so sorry! Yes, it can be quite lonely sometimes. And I'd love to meet a nice single woman to share in everything I've gained over the years. Oh? Your beautiful daughter is a joy to have in the office. Everyone loves her. She's a wonderful girl! Yes, she is. And I'm so excited to come to her wedding this Saturday. Her husband must be a very lucky man. So, why are you messaging me? As a single man of a certain age, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable attending the wedding without a beautiful woman by my side. I hope I'm not being too forward, but Janie showed me your picture and, well, I can see where she gets her stunning good looks. Thank you. I'm sure the wedding will be gorgeous, but I'm most excited to bask in your radiance up close. Would you like to be my date at the wedding, Martha? What would that entail, exactly? A few slow dances, some polite conversation. And then after, I can whisk you away on my jet to Aruba. You have a jet? Two. When I go to the Caribbean, I use the larger one. What do you say? It wouldn't be fair for your daughter to have a perfect honeymoon while you're stuck at home. Yes! Wonderful. What color is your dress? I'd love to get something to match. Red. Perfect. Like you. Hey, babe. How'd it go with Janie's mom? She believed every stupid word. God, what a gold digger. I know. It's embarrassing. Well, keep it up. This was only step one. Janie, this is your mother. I know. You don't have to introduce yourself every time we text. Can you tell me about your boss? My boss? Why? He's going to be my date at the wedding. Ew, he's like a hundred. Is he rich? Hell yeah. He's always off on vacation somewhere. I barely see him. Perfect. Mom, shut up. Don't you want me to be happy? Just think, you might not be the only woman in our family to marry a rich, ugly man. Ben's not ugly. Yes, he is. Yeah, you're right. But he is rich, thanks to his deviant dads. <laughs> oh, honey, I raised you right. Hi, Ben. At work? Always. What's up? I talked to your real dad. He was acting all bitchy toward me. He's hurt. That's no excuse. And you better not be changing your mind. You want your beautiful bride to be happy, right? Right? Of course. Good. So, did you invite my boss to the wedding? No. Did you? Why would I be asking if I invited him? Whatever. Just make sure there's an extra seat available. He's gonna be my mom's plus one. What? I know, I know, he's like the crypt keeper. But if it makes my mom happy... I can't bring both my dads, but you're inviting that guy? You barely know him. We already went over this. Oh, and because Dean was so pissy with me, I uninvited him, too. What? We don't want any drama at the ceremony. Janie, I can't believe this. Well, a lot of people can't believe that a guy like you would land a hottie like me. That's what everyone says. So, unless you want me to call this whole thing off, I think you should probably learn to compromise a little. Ben? Okay. Good. So, without Dean there, I guess we will have space for my boss after all. Problem solved. See? Everything's working out for the best. Yeah. Jesus, Ben, be more excited. Soon, you and I will be standing in front of all our friends as Mr. and Mrs. Kowalski. It's going to be the best day of my life. Our lives. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. I'm at my beach house right now. It's so beautiful, but it would be perfect if you were here with me. I know. Two more days until the wedding. Are you excited? I'm excited to meet you in person. So you're not excited about the ceremony? Of course I am. We're spending a lot of money. We? The groom is. His family is very rich. I see. Is he a good man? He's very polite. You don't seem too excited about having him in your family. Sorry, 
I might be overstepping again. No, I'm excited. Do you think your daughter can do better? Well, yes. Is he dumb? No, he's quite smart. And talented. Then what's the problem? He's ugly, okay? Very. He's short and his nose is too big. And his hair, God, his hair is so damn curly. I guess he's handsome in his own way, but he's a little ethnic, you know? I see. And I worry about what my grandkids will look like. That's a very valid concern. If he ends up being their father. What do you mean? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Martha, I have feelings for you. I want to know everything about you. You can tell me anything. Really? Yes. Well, I'm secretly hoping that someone else will be the father of her children. So you don't want them to get married? No, of course I do. But she's seen plenty of other men who are more handsome. Better genes. She has other boyfriends? A few. I don't understand the younger generation sometimes. They're not exclusive. That's the word, right? They're both seeing other people? No, just her. Ben doesn't know. I see. But you can trust me, Javier. I'm not like that. You're all the man I'd ever need. Good. I really shouldn't have told you all that. When you meet Ben on Saturday, don't say anything. I wouldn't dream of it. Thank you. So... What are you wearing? Dean, I just got some horrible news from Martha. What? Janie is cheating. With whom? I didn't get names, but multiple people. Good. How is that good? Ben will be heartbroken. This is exactly what Ben needs to hear. As soon as he finds out, he'll finally grow a backbone and dump the bitch. I guess you're right. Should I tell him? Let me. We can use him for step three in our mission. God, Martha is just as bad as her daughter. She said such terrible things about our son. Send me a screen capture. We need him to see everything. Son, can I call? I'm so sorry, Dad. Let's just chat, okay? Sure. Are you still mad at me? A little, but mostly I'm just sad. I'm trying really hard to make this work, but Janie has made her demands really clear. I want you both to be there. It wasn't a mutual decision to uninvite you. I know. I wish you could go. We won't. And I don't think you should either. What? It's my wedding. I need you to hear me out. Don't get defensive. Do you promise to do that? Dad? Do you promise? Yes. You're a great guy. And you deserve so much better than Janie. No, I don't. She's beautiful. Maybe. But she's a monster. And she's cheating on you. She only wants to marry you for the money. Stop. I don't want to hear that. You told me you'd listen. Fine. I have texts from her mother explaining everything. She's a real piece of work, by the way, just like her daughter. I'm gonna send those over and you're going to hear exactly what that family thinks about you. But you are not going to get upset, okay? They're idiots and they're wrong. Wrong about Javi and me and definitely wrong about you. I know it'll hurt, but you cannot get upset, do you hear me? If anything, I want you to get angry. Because you should be angry. You need to be angry. And once you read those messages, you'll join me on my plan. What plan? To take those monsters down. Dad, I don't need to read the messages. I trust you. What's the plan? I'm driving to your work right now. We'll talk about it then. I love you, Dad. I love you too. I miss talking with you. Me too. How's your day going? Fine, just trying out my red dress for this weekend. Send me a picture. Let's keep it a surprise, yeah? <laughs> sure, weddings should always have surprises. What are you doing? Finalizing the flight plans for Jamaica. I thought we were going to Aruba. Change of plans. I hope that's okay. No, Jamaica will be wonderful. Especially if I'm there with you. I couldn't agree more, actually. I have a favor to ask before we get on my jet. What is it? I have a private beach house in Aruba, but I don't in Jamaica. Probably buy one next year, though. <laughs> anyway, I figured we could stay at the Grand Lotus there. It's one of the nicest resorts in the world. Yes, I agree! I'm so glad you do. The thing is, 
I plan to pay for everything once we land. I hope that's okay. That's fine! Great. It'll be quite expensive. Especially with all the massages and spa treatments I'll be splurging on. Several thousand dollars at least. Are you sure you can afford that? <laughs> I spend that much on dog sitting. <laughs> but the thing is, I always pay in cash. But the resort won't let us book anything unless there's a card attached. So I was hoping you could reserve everything under your account and then I'll pay it off once we get there. I don't know. And of course I'll be adding more to your account too. A weekly allowance, so to speak. Would that be okay? Why don't you just use your own card? So you don't want to go? I really think you'd love Jamaica. But I don't have the money. That doesn't matter, it's just a formality. They won't charge you anything once we get there because I'll be covering all the costs in person. What do you say, Martha? Okay, great. It'll be around 8,000, but they won't withdraw anything for a week. That'll give us more than enough time to arrive and let me settle the fees, okay? Sure. Great, I'll send you the booking information now. You need to do it today so that we can reserve the honeymoon suite. It's going to be so much fun. Just talked with Martha. She fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Thank God Ben isn't marrying into that family. They're complete morons. Amen. So Ben's here. Is he okay? Yeah, considering. Tell him hi. Tell him I love him. He's just about to help us with the final step. Great. Wish him luck. Hello, my love. What do you want? I'm at work. So one of your friends lost her invitation and doesn't know the address, so I need to know where your address book is. Which friend? I'm not sure. Tell me where your address book is and I'll know her name when I see it. No. Why not? There are lots of names in there that I don't want you to know. Exes and stuff. Come on, I'm just looking for one person. I promise I won't snoop. No! Janie, you want all your friends to be there, right? You want this wedding to be perfect. This is your day. You know you can trust me. I do everything for you. Don't I? Don't I do everything you say? It's in the top drawer of my dresser. Under the sweaters. Thank you. But don't contact anyone you don't know. Promise me. I promise. I love you. Love you too! Almost here. It looks like guests are arriving. Hello? I just tried calling, but there's no answer. Sorry about that. Been busy. I booked the resort and signed my name, and now I'm waiting to finally see you in person. 8,000, right? It was closer to nine. But that doesn't matter to you, does it? Not at all. Barely a drop in the bucket. Especially because I'm not going to pay it. What? Yeah, I'm not Janie's boss. And I certainly don't ever want to meet a wrinkled old cow like you. Who are you? Doesn't matter. But I hope you enjoy the wedding and your new red dress and the non-refundable reservation. Who are you? Answer me! What the hell, Ben? I told you not to invite anyone you don't know. There's like 40 extra people coming in. You invited all my exes! Not just your exes, I'm guessing. I'm sure you're still sleeping with a couple of them, or plenty, as your mom would say. What? Where are you? I'm not coming. I guess you'll have to get up on stage in that beautiful white dress my dad's paid for and tell everyone that the wedding's off. I wish I could see the look on your face standing in front of all your lovers admitting that you got dumped by me. I won't be there, though. You can't do this to me! Now do you wish we'd invited my dads? Damn it, Ben! I hope you enjoy the best day of our lives. <laughs>